What is good y'all, it is Anime K here and we are back with another video and today we're going to be talking about why you should 100% definitely not just don't do it, just don't watch the new Demon Slayer movie I'm going to be talking about why you shouldn't so firstly I'm going to talk about the negatives of the movie which there was a lot so firstly right I go I go to the cinemas with my friend right we sit down and I'm getting ready for the Demon Slayer movie got my snacks you know got everything got my drinks right we're sat there so as the movie starts rolling right we see Demon Slayer okay cool but then I see Tanjiro from season one where he's carrying Nezuko like where he first finds her as a demon right and then I'm thinking okay maybe they're just recapping on some stuff okay they, they show a bit of season one that's fine then they show Mugen Train and I'm thinking, okay, so you're showing a bit of Mugen Train, that's fine. That was the last movie, it was a big movie. You know, you want to give people a bit of a recap, refresh our memories, that's fine. Okay, and then they show the entertainment arc, right, season two. To be honest, right, I'll say that's kind of a negative and a positive because I never got to see the big fight, you know, between Tengen and... I forgot the de I forget the demon's name, but Tengen and Demon, obviously Tandro, and the, the the animations, even on the big screen, right? Even seeing it for like the second or third time, still looked really amazing and really good, and and I think wow, it just kind of reinforced the thought to me that Demon Slayer just set the standard for animation so far, right? That's kind of a negative and a positive, right? But all this lasted for about the movie was an hour and fifty minutes long. This all this lasted for. I want to say 50 to maybe an hour long, right? Okay, just of all recaps, which recaps are meant to be about maybe 10, 50 minutes long. I feel like they really just stretched it out too far. Now, it was good seeing the fights, don't get me wrong, but if people really wanted to see that fight, they should have either gone to see Mugen Train or you can always find it on other sites. I think it's on Crunchyroll. I'm sure it's probably on Funimation. I'm sure it's probably on any, any and every anime site right now because the movie is like a year or two old now, probably two years old now, right? But that was a negative, the fact that it took too long to get into the movie, really. And then when we got to the, the Swordsmith Village arc, right? As I'm watching the movie, I read the comments of the trailer and basically someone said in the comments that it's just episode one of season three, which I don't know if that would be true, but if that's the case, then really I, I, I completely wasted my time. But if it's just content that maybe people won't see, then, or if it's just for the movie, then that's, I guess, okay. But what we saw, right? So firstly, we see Tanjiro, obviously, he wakes up I'm, and I'm this is this is kind of a bit of spoilers for you guys you don't have to you can you have to listen to this part but it's not really it's not really big spoilers anyway so Tanjiro wakes up from his coma right he was in a coma for three months after the fight and the rest of the guys wake up right you know Zenetsu and all that right they all wake up and everything's cool and then Tanjiro has to go to the swordsmith village because he broke his sword again and he looks from the swordsmith village you know you meet the chief there you, that makes the swords as well he also runs into misery the flower hashra is is she the flower or the love hashra i forget which hashra she is and then you see her for a bit and then he goes into the hot springs right and then after that you see giyu one of the hashras right he's talking to someone and that's don't know what's going on there and then it kind of ends but the reason why i'm kind of just skimmering through what happened because nothing really happens and it's not worth going to the cinemas the reason why it annoyed me even more because my friend that doesn't watch anime came with me and then i said to him look if you come with me i'll pay for you so i paid 15 pounds for recap and possibly an episode of a new season I'm gonna end up seeing in a couple months anyway. So I say all this to say to you guys, look, if you've already watched the, the movie, then I'm sorry I couldn't get this video out, out quick enough to warn you guys, but if you haven't watched it, I advise you right now, don't go watch the movie because you're not going to be impressed with what you see. If you guys wanted to see the entertainment arc on the big screen, then hey, you're getting something out of it because it was really good to see the fight, don't get me wrong, but I don't think it was worth the money that I paid just to go sit there and see recuts. I mean, to make it even worse, right? About four or five people walked out of the movie and there was, only, there was only about 10 or 11 people in there because I went to go see it on the second day of it being released. And, and this was the first movie ever, right? Where I've actually thought about walking out. And this was like the first anime movie I went to go see in cinemas because I missed Mugen Train. I didn't go see that. And I also, the quintessential quadruplets i didn't get to see that either but this was the movie i thought okay we're gonna see new fights it's gonna build up to season three and i was really excited and at the end of the day at the end of the movie i just felt deflated i was just i went in there just 
really, I didn't get the value that I paid for, basically, right? I didn't, I didn't get that at all. But look, if you take anything from this video, you take anything from this little rant and me going on, I'd just, just take this from it. Don't go see the the Swordsmith Village um, Demon Slayer movie because you're just not going to get what you want from it at all. And that's just a warning to you guys. Now, if you still go see it after this video and you enjoy it, then fair enough. If you still go see it after this video and you don't enjoy it, then maybe you should should have listened to me. But look, like, comment, subscribe. I'm Anime K, and even talking about it now, remembering how I felt watching the movie. But yeah, this has been Anime K, and peace. And don't be as stupid as me. Maybe. Look, if there's every, if there's a movie out, do a bit more research on it. You know, in my defense, I don't think I have to do so much research on them. something that they were rebranding as new and different. But I'm out. Peace.